Part of Los Angeles Jewish Symphony mission is to perform works by Jewish composers, new works by Jewish composers, works that are seldomly performed. It has my, been my pleasure to share the stage with this next artist as a classical guitarist, Adam Damonte, many times. Thank you, Adam. How does Jewish Sephardic music fit into the flamenco milieu? How much time do we have? <laughs> uh, one minute. Uh, the short version is basically the Jews lived in Spain for about 1,500 years, so I figured since they contributed uh, you know, notably to the theology and philosophy and uh, poetry, etc., I figured the musicians must have gotten together and jammed as well. Um, so in that case, uh, last time I heard a Moroccan chazan uh, sing a Shema Israel, I was... I, I got shivers down my spine because it sounded so much like Seguiria, like the chanting or the flamenco cantejondo of Seguiria because uh, it has a very liturgical quality to it, uh, the Seguiria, and the uh, Moroccan chazan had a very, very similar uh, vocal expression and tonality to it that was very, very similar. So you could really hear the roots of where flamenco came from as one of the ingredients. And t tell us about the, the rhythmic complexities of flamenco and <clears throat> well, flamenco, there are three commandments. Rhythm, rhythm, and rhythm. Um, and the gypsies, they like to use this beautiful imagery. They say, Adam, when they were teaching me at the beginning, they said, uh, I was sitting in a cave, and they would say, uh, Adam, you have to think of rhythm as a horse. It gallops and it just takes you. So just ride the rhythmic wave. And um, so the idea of translating this very rhythmic medium, which of course has complex melodies and harmonies too, but they all come, are born from rhythm. The challenge really to um, translate that into a classical medium, writing it down and having an orchestra play it uh, with many different layers uh, is certainly a challenge. And the idea when you hear a typical gypsy family or a tribe doing a fiesta, there is like three or four different polyrhythms happening at the same time and they all lock in. And what I've tried to do is take some of these rhythms and put them in an orchestral setting, but at, at the same time add the harmonic and melodic dimension to it as well. Uh, one of the challenges for us has been that, you know, to get an orchestra to play all these different rhythms together and also the antiphonal, like you play it and then we play it almost like jazz, like we're trading floors and to have it all kind of glued together. And one of the ways we did this is we added this thing right here. Can you tell us what that is? Yeah, this is uh, the cajon. It's actually, its origin is from Peru, but it's been adapted, uh, adopted by uh, the flamenco for over 20 years ago. And uh, it is the, the percussion of choice for all flamenco companies, and it, because it has a very distinct dry percussive quality to it, and, and uh, it doesn't have too many overtones. And so this is the cajon, and um, the, the person sits on it, so at least we don't have to bring a chair, we know that much. And uh, yeah, there's, uh, you'd be surprised how many colors you can actually bring out of this little box. So I think you'll get a taste of it tonight. And that comes in on the third movement. That's why there's no one sitting on the box now. So, En Sueño Flamenco by Adam Del Monte.
Thank <laughs> you.